Hello, I'm Gianrico Ferrugia from Mayo Clinic, and I am the senior author of the study entitled Conditional Genetic Deletion of ANA1 in Interstitial Cells of Cajal and Purse Calcium Transients and Slow Waves in Adult Mouse Small Intestine. I and my colleagues, Simon Gibbons and John Malish, are excited to share with you on behalf of all our co-authors our findings. Interstitial cells of Cajal, or as they are better known, ICC, are recognized today as key determinants of gastrointestinal function. They generate rhythmic calcium transients and the pacemaker slow wave. They also partly mediate neuromuscular transmission and mechanosensation. And they play a role in the pathogenesis of several gut motility disorders. ICC express both the ANO1 TMEM16A calcium activated chloride channel as well as the KIT tyrosine kinase receptor. We do not fully understand the precise function of ANO1 in ICC. Studies on tissues from ANO1 global knockout mice and on ICC cultures support roles for ANO1 in proliferation of ICC, coordination of transient intracellular calcium release, generation of pacemaker slow wave activity, and regulation of GI motility. Reduced ANO1 expression and differences in expression of variants of ANO1 have been associated with diseases such as slow transit constipation and gastroparesis. The primary aim of this study was to determine how inducible targeted knockout of ANO1 in ICC affected ICC function in adult mice. For these studies, we exploited tamoxifen-inducible Cree-driven LOX-P dependent recombination to knock out ANO1 in ICC in adult transgenic mice. We generated these mice by crossing mice expressing the KIT Cree ERT2 genetic construct with mice that had LOX-P sites flanking exon 8 of the ANO1 gene. Structural and functional studies on mucosa-free smooth muscle from the small intestine were done on tamoxifen-treated inducible conditional knockout mice, IC-ANO1-KOs, and vehicle-treated control animals. Here are our results. Quantitative RT-PCR demonstrated reduction in mRNA levels in conditional knockouts. Whole mounts of small intestines from conditional knockouts showed substantial loss of ANO1 in both ICC myentary plexus and ICC deep mouse plexus networks. Notably, the loss was variable and included areas showing severe or moderate absence of ANO1 relative to KIT, while added areas showed preservation of ANO1. Next, we measure calcium transients in ICC MY networks. In vehicle controls, as exemplified by this video, Calcium transients were highly synchronized across the ICC MY network. Conditional knockouts displayed the synchronized calcium transients as shown here, but in other areas the transients were highly synchronized in these mice. A key effect of the loss of ANO1 was on calcium transient duration in both synchronized and desynchronized conditional knockout subgroups, the duration values were less than in vehicle controls. In a series of experiments, we marked the areas recorded from and directly linked the measured calcium transient profiles with ANO1 and kit activities. In conditional knockouts, where ANO1 expression levels were very low, indicating its severe loss, we observed the synchronized calcium transients. However, in areas with moderate to high level of ANO1 loss, we still observed synchronized calcium transients, revealing a high level of functional reserve for ANO1 in ICC myentary plexus network. Recordings of electrical activity in vehicle controls revealed robust slow waves in small intestine musculature. In conditional knockouts, variable electroactivities were observed, including lack of slow waves and depolarization in the resting memory potential, 
as well as slow waves with reduced duration and regular and irregular amplitude oscillating patterns. In summary, our studies point to the following model. As the proportion of ANO1 positive ICC in the ICC MY network decreases, so does the duration of both the intracellular calcium transients in ICC MY and the slow wave recorded from the musculature. In situations where ANO1 was knocked out in practically all ICC in a field, then the intracellular calcium transients were desynchronized, electrical slow waves were absent, and the membrane voltage was depolarized. In conclusion, ANO1 in adults regulates gastrointestinal function by determining synchronicity of calcium transients and electrical activity. Changes in synchronicity and electrical activity depend on the level of ANO1 expression. Unique phenotype of the conditional ANO1 knockouts displaying variable loss of ANO1 allowed us to determine that there is a high function reserve of ANO1 in ICCMY. This study was supported by NIDDK. Thank you.